G'day guys, this is Tier and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today we are going to be testing out a new feature that came out in the recent update. And to clarify right here at the start of the video, I'm not sure if this is a bug or if it's intentional, so if you're watching this video in the future and it's no longer working as I described in this video, that means it was probably patched or changed in some way. Anyway, what I'm going to be talking about and testing is the fact that the Grenadier perk got buffed and now works with a bunch of new explosive effects that it didn't previously work on. Including explosive legendary perks. Yep, that's right. Grenadier now doubles the explosive radius of Exploding Palm, Barflung Fireworks, Hack and Slash, Detonation Contagion, and Collateral Damage. But the real question is, is this merely a visual only increase, or does it also increase the explosion's damage radius, therefore making them more powerful and dealing more damage? Let's find out. Okay, so to test this, we will need the help of my friend here. We have Gardner, Stayed, and later on Zethro Zero, and Juicy Pickle that I have helping me with this video. This will be very simple. Barflung Fireworks, Detonation Contagion, and Collateral Damage all function the exact same way and are basically exact copies of each other. They are basically exact clones as far as the files and in-game mechanics are concerned. Except, obviously, they activate from different weapons. That being Farflung Fireworks with ranged weapons, Detonation Contagion with grenades, and Collateral Damage with melee weapons. Firstly, in this video I will show you that every single one of these legendary explosive perks does get visually doubled in size with a before and after shot. Here is Farflung Fireworks without Grenadier. As you can see, the explosion was quite small and contained. And then here is Farflung Fireworks with Grenadier on. The explosion is noticeably larger and the puff of black smoke left behind is way larger as well. So it's obviously working visually. But before we go into testing further, let's just make sure that all the other perks are working visually as well. Here is Detonation Contagion without Grenadier. And here it is with Grenadier. Here is Collateral Damage without Grenadier. And here it is with it. Here is Hack and Slash without Grenadier. And then here it is with it. And finally, here is Exploding Palm. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit different. Exploding Palm does not appear to activate on other real players, so I had to improvise a little bit. Thankfully, Exploding Palm does still activate when you punch dead bodies, and thankfully again, the explosion activates where the body originally died, not where the body is currently located. So, that allows me to easily test this perk's radius as you can see with the footage. First, we will test it without Grenadier. And then, here it is with it. As you can see, the explosion is visually doubled for every one of these legendary perks, once you put on Grenadier. But now comes the time to test if these explosions are actually more deadly via the damage radius being doubled as well. And before we begin testing, if you're curious about how any of these legendary perks actually work, you want to see the radius, the damage they deal, or anything like that, I have that shown in a video which I will put in the top right right now. Feel free to click it if you want to see. Okay, so to test this out, I'm going to use two of my friends to stand next to each other, and I'm going to kill them and attack them repeatedly at the edge of the default damage radius to see how far it is by default. And then I'm going to get them to move further out to see if they will continue to take damage outside of what was the default damage radius. If they do take damage, then that means Grenadier is actually boosting the effective radius of all these perks. If they don't take damage, then that means the explosion is purely visual only, and the effective damage radius remains unchanged. I will be testing with far-flung fireworks only when it comes to on-death perks, because as I said earlier, they are all basically the exact same as each other, and they all function the exact same way. They are all clones and copies of each other, just with different weapon activations. So if it works for one, then that means it will work for them all. 
However, when it does come to exploding palm and hack and slash, they do behave differently and do have different functionalities in the files. So that does mean I will have to test them separately. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we will be testing far-flung fireworks. Firstly, I'm going to kill my friend right here. And you will see once far-flung fireworks activates, my other mate should take no damage because he is just outside the default damage radius of the explosion. We have marked the distance to be the absolute edge of the effective radius as you can see right there. And as you can see in the background footage, I did not have Grenadier on, and Gardener did not take any damage with far-flung fireworks. So like I said, he is at the edge of the effective radius. So with that covered, now in theory, if I equip Grenadier, the damage radius should be larger and he will take damage. So let's test. And unfortunately, as you can see in the footage, far-flung fireworks does not get its damage radius increased by Grenadier. At least, I couldn't get it to work. No matter how many times we tested this with far-flung fireworks, or detonation contagion, or collateral damage, the damage radius was unchanged. Unfortunately, from my testing, it appears that the damage radius is not increased, and the bigger explosion is only visual when it comes to far-flung fireworks, detonation contagion, and collateral damage. With that covered, we will now begin testing exploding palm. Same deal here, my friend will be at the edge of the default radius, which we know already works, as you can see, he does take no damage, meaning he is at the exact edge of the radius. And then we will have him in the exact same spot while I equip Grenadier to test if the damage radius is increased. And as you can see, it surprisingly works! Gardner was in the exact same position and the explosion was coming from the exact same place from the Mole Miner's corpse, and Gardner, all of a sudden, is taking massive amounts of damage. So much so, that he dies. So, it appears that the damage radius is actually increased for the exploding palm perk. Let's test it a little bit further with him, standing a bit further away. Again, Gardner is still taking damage, but it is heavily reduced. He is now taking 33-ish damage, instead of 110 and 90 damage like he was beforehand. Now this is consistent with how large explosions do work in this game. Because Gardner is getting further away from the source of the explosion, he is taking reduced damage. That's just how explosions work, and it looks like that is consistent with this which is good to see. Anyways, now we will test one final time with him standing further away again, and as you can see, this appears to be the cutoff point for the larger damage radius, which does appear to be about double the original damage radius. So from this testing, we can verify that the exploding palm does actually work fully with Grenadier. This means that not only is the explosion increased visually, but the actual damage radius is also doubled with Grenadier and explosive palm which is very surprising considering far-flung fireworks, detonation contagion, and collateral damage did not work in the other tests. Finally, we will be testing hack and slash. Same deal, it has the exact same effective radius as all the others, except hack and slash is not technically an explosive perk. Hack and slash does cause an explosion visually, we can see that, but we know from looking at the files that the explosion is purely visual only, and the damage you deal with this perk is via a cleave ability that is just invisible. I explained how this perk works in another video that you can check out here if you want to see that. Anyways, before we get started, I'm 99% sure that the damage radius will not be increased with this perk, since it's not technically an explosion. But let's get into it. As you can see, Gardner is in the position that we need him to be in. Unfortunately, Hack and Slash does not deliver damage numbers on other players, so we will have to gouge whether or not we deal damage via Gardner's health bar. Let's get into it. Firstly. Gardner is just inside the damage radius so that you can see that this is actually working. As you can see, he did take health damage there. And then we will take him out a little bit further so that he is at the absolute edge of the damage radius, so that he will not take damage. And then finally, we will equip Grenadier and test if Hack and Slash's radius will increase and damage Gardner. As you can see here in the footage, Gardner's health is unchanged in all of these attempts, which we can use to verify that Hack and Slash does not increase its damage radius by Grenadier. It is unfortunately visual only, but that is no surprise to me because I know how this perk works from looking at the files. So, what is the conclusion from this video? Basically, Grenadier does affect all of the explosive legendary perks visually, including Hack and Slash. However, you have to remember that this is only visually. In all cases, except for one, the explosion only looks bigger. It does not actually make the effective explosive radius larger. 
except for in one case like I mentioned, that being Explosive Palm. The Explosive Palm perk actually does get its explosive radius doubled by Grenadier. And this is for one simple reason. Keyword attachments. I'll explain. Okay, so basically you, the player, create the Exploding Palm explosion. Its keyword in the files means that it is activated via the player. This is why the damage radius is doubled, because that is something that the Grenadier perk looks for in the files. However, with far-flung fireworks, detonation contagion, and collateral damage, the explosion is actually activated via the enemy or the NPC you killed. The keyword for those perks are activated from an external source, not an internal one. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy learning about this weird phenomenon that I have discovered, and I hope you will consider using Grenadier in your melee build, because I know I am. I want my Exploding Palm perk to have a much larger radius, and that's something that I'm going to be looking forward to using. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Drop me a comment on what you thought of it, and if you're new here and want to see more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed with post notifications turned on. A huge shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making videos like this possible. You're all awesome and you're all legends. As always, the links to my social media are in the description, along with my Patreon and channel membership if you want to support me in a much larger way. I've been Tia, and I'll catch us in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.